Welcome back. The former commercial director of cable TV and telco provider Virgin Media in the UK has been visiting Australia as a guest of ad agency MCN to talk to subscription TV executives and their advertising partners. Now consulting to top media companies globally, Mark Brandon has some interesting insights on the impact of mobile and how TV broadcasters could get better outcomes in this market. He spoke to Media Week's James Manning. The growth of the digital ad spend, I mean, it just gets bigger every year. Yep. So it seems to have just about virtually overtaken in Australia. It's, it's, it's overtaken um, traditional TV, which was the, the big money earner. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about that and the impact that has on, on the media space. Yeah, I guess the most interesting thing in a way, I mean, we all know that the eyeballs are moving towards digital platforms and obviously as, as that happens, so advertising dollars f follow. We, we all understand that, but I, I'm, I'm almost more interested in what these trends are doing to agency type businesses structurally and I don't think any of that's played out yet uh, but it's very clear that online as an, as, a, as an area and a series of approaches and practices and, and so on is driving the kind of corporate development agenda for global agencies that's very very clear and I think you'll see soon that an awful lot of change will happen within organisations like Group M and so on because those businesses need to need to uh, their structures need to be fully reflective of the, these changes. Netflix, Amazon, the Ben Yahoo, uh, next we think uh, been commissioning video content. Um, do you think that's a threat to the the, the the old business model for television, or could it coexist alongside it? I think I think it could be a threat, uh, but I also think it could it could coexist quite nicely. I think. I always think to myself that if you had a choice, you'd, you'd start from where the traditional players start. Doesn't mean they won't they won't make a make a ham fist of it, but I still think that the traditional players have something to offer. <coughs> excuse me, in in the modern era. Hmm. So I believe that we'll probably see a mixed ecology. Yeah. Now you work with Virgin Media in the UK most recently. Observations about how the TV sector operates over there and what happens here, the relationships between the free-to-air broadcasters, uh, MCN, Foxtel, that side of the business. What struck me in the short time I've been in Australia is how, um, how difficult it is to get the terrestrials, or the networks as you call them, and the pay operators around a table uh, to kind of take television advertising forward. That's not the case in the UK. So the players in the UK are absolutely com uh, competitive with each other, but they also have something called Thinkbox that they all rally around and use as a kind of single voice for television advertising. And it has to be said that in a world where television is being increasingly delivered by multiple devices, multiple platforms, there is a real need for that single voice pushing TV advertising as a proposition versus all the other opportunities out there in the market. Uh, and I think Australia really desperately needs that. And that, that model has proven successful in the yes. UK at, at keeping their revenue strong? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, in all the years that I've been in this game, I, I don't think I've once heard there, there to be an issue between broadcasters or networks and pay operators as far as driving the TV advertising agenda collectively forward is concerned. So uh, I'm slightly surprised that that's not the case here. And uh, I'm sure and certain that over time that will change. Mm. Um, threats to television, we've talked about um, digital content people. What about uh, mobile? You know, it's being used a lot as a second screen. Yep. Could it take over as the first screen for a lot of people? Uh, possibly, although, uh, again, it feels to me as if it's something that's going to coexist with the conventional TV viewing experience. Um, I think there are other issues about the mobile market which, which make it harder to aggregate eyeballs in a meaningful way for advertisers. Uh, not impossible, but harder. And so I think we're some way away from seeing mobile become, you know, effectively replacing television in a conventional sense. Uh, again, going back to Thinkbox in the UK, they would see mobile as another way to deliver TV signals. Just on that, uh, the banner advertising, you, is, does it have some value as a, as a brand uh, weapon, if you like, and, and why is it ineffective? Has it been overvalued, do you think? Um, People paying too much for it? Not necessarily. Uh, I think, again, it goes back to logic, what I just said. You, just because you can put an ad placement yeah. somewhere doesn't mean you should. doesn't mean that it's the best way to put an ad message into a, a piece of content. Um, a lot of it has been seen as wallpaper, mm. and we know that that's the case because we know that click-through rates are 
are still dropping. We know they're very low and always have been, really. Um, but I think banner advertising is part of an overall armory for online market marketers. And it's not necessarily the least interesting, but, but it's something that I, I think it's something that needs to be used sparingly and sensibly and cleverly and intelligently. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it has its value less. I would, however, say that there is a tendency, particularly with technologies being what they are, to bombard the online landscape with, with, with banner placements that never really have any chance of sticking as far as the audience is concerned. And I just don't think that's clever, clever advertising or marketing. I'm guessing you wouldn't be happy about websites that do autoplay on their videos no, too, would you? Autoplay. Um, I think I'm, I always say I think I missed the memo when, when it was described that, that was a good idea. I, I just think it's dumb. I think one of the real problems with online is you've got intermediaries and intermediaries of intermediaries and intermediaries of intermediaries of intermediaries working on monetizing downstream, a long way downstream, uh, ad inventories and content in a way that's totally removed from the content in which the advertising is embedded. And that's just a recipe for disaster. I, I, I Ultimately, we have to go back to basics. We have to, all of us in the industry, we all have to seek better, more impactful advertising that ultimately gives some value back to the customer. If we get that, then we'll, we'll be fine. We'll, in fact, as I said before, we'll, we'll have a golden era of advertising again, because we certainly have the technology now that we didn't have before. Coming up on Media Week, ARN's iHeartRadio gets Kylie live and exclusive.